Well, hello, God bless you. I'm hoping that you're having a great day. This is Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I'm excited about what the Lord is doing and the things that are going on in this world. Now, I want you to meet me tonight because I, there is a word from the Lord. I want to, I'm going to, there's a teaching that God has given me, and I'm going to pray tonight that each one who is present and for those who will be streaming, that God would anoint you to do the very thing that I am going to teach on tonight and that we're going to pray on. And you are needed, my friends. You are needed. You are needed for everybody who's watching, who is born again. You are needed on fire. You are needed to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because we as a body cannot stand idly by and allow the program of Satan to take place uh, unassailed with, without any pushback. And, and, and here at the upper room, we do not believe in practicing what uh, 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 abandonment theology. We do not say, well, that's the world and the world's going to be the world. Like some people say, boys will be boys. Well, the world is going to be the world. That's the world. We're not concerned about the world. We're in the church. Hey, earth to people who, who think that way. Your church is in the world. Your bo the body of Christ that you're a part of is on this planet. It's in the world. And anything that takes place in the world affects all of us because we live in the world. And the world is constantly trying to encroach. I'm going to talk about that tonight. How the world is trying to invade and encroach upon the territory of the church. Satan is wicked, my friends, and he knows no boundary. He doesn't care. The devil is out to corrupt everyone. Now, I have something in my hand here that uh, was brought to my attention, and it has fired me up. Uh, this is a, a CNN story. It says this. Listen to this. Pepper Pig. Now, to give you full disclosure, I never heard of Pepper Pig before in my life because all of my children are grown, and uh, uh, so I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not a connoisseur or a watcher of cartoons of any kind. I don't even watch Marvel cartoons and things like that. that they just don't interest me. But listen, Peppa Pig, the hit cartoon show aimed at preschoolers, has introduced its first same-sex parent family in its 18-year history. So now they're, they're going after our preschoolers. I've been telling you this. And uh, for those of you who uh, years ago and, and uh, uh, you know, would, would ask what's wrong with Wood, what's wrong with this guy? Why is he crying out so much against the homosexuals in the LGBTQ community. Don't he know that that's not the only sin? There's something wrong with him. He needs to preach something else. Like I do not. Uh, but all those things, I want you to know, I forgive you. And whether you call me or not and admit that you were wrong and you were, I forgive you. Now, now I need you to forgive yourself and stand in your pulpits Stand in your Sunday school rooms, uh, uh, get on radio, television, stream, do whatever you do, and cry aloud and spare not. And warn people, talk to your youth pastors, talk to your youth groups, talk to the young people, warn them at earlier and earlier ages that the devil is trying to corrupt the minds of our children. Now, why is it necessary for a same-sex parent family to be a part of a program that's geared to preschoolers. There's only one reason. 
and that, that one reason is they're trying to sow that seed of wickedness, and I mean wickedness, perversity, ungodliness, evil in the minds of our children. And I pray, pastors out there who are watching this, that you, you talk to your, your youth workers, talk to the saints, talk to your church, warn the people. You know, the Bible says this, and I don't want to just go on and on because I want you to come back tonight and, and we're going to talk about this. But the Bible says in Romans chapter number one and in verse 30, the Bible, as it begins to give uh, character or lack thereof traits and sins and things that would take place in the in the last days and, and are taking place in the world, he said that men would be, uh, uh, listen, listen at this, says verse 28 says, even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, a mind devoid of good judgment. A reprobate mind, a mind devoid of good judgment. Whoever thought it's a, it a good idea to program this, to beam this, to aim this at preschoolers, you have a mind devoid of judgment. You, 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 it, it's evil. Your mind is reprobate. You have a reprobated mind. God turned them over to a reprobate mind. Uh, and look at this, to do those things which are not convenient. That is, to do those things that are not fitting, that are not right. And being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, ma uh, maliciousness, full of envy, and, uh, um, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God. Can you believe it? Haters of God, the Bible says. This is Romans 1 and verse 30. It says, despiteful, proud, bolsters. And here's what I wanted to get to for this particular presentation. Inventors of evil things. Whoever came up with the idea in its 18 year history to introduce the first same sex couple into the Papa Pig cartoon that is aimed at preschoolers, you are an inventor of evil things. I pray, parents, that you would not allow your children to watch this. I tell you what, Brother Gary, I think it might be time for uh, more parents to go back to parenting. I think we've allowed that one-eyed monster, the, pre the, the television, and that other one, the, 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 the handheld one, to do all the parenting for us. And uh, all kinds of wickedness is being programmed uh, at our children, aimed at our children, for our children. So I'm going to talk tonight about uh, 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 the saints making a difference. Yes, that's what I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to pray that God anoints you and that God anoints me to be a force to be reckoned with in these last days in the kingdom of God that the Lord would anoint us so that, uh, that Satan will have to stand back. No, we're not going to prevent all evil. Yes, it's true that evil men and seducers will wax, wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But it's also true that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the God of the Bible is in charge and he's moving by his spirit. And he is anointing us. He's anointing people to do, as the book of Daniel said, to do exploits. So get all excited. Meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. You guessed it, Bible study. We're going to study the Word of the Lord together. And uh, by the way, as I go off, I got special guests coming this Sunday. Mother Tennyson, a woman of God, if there has ever been one. Now, this uh, beautiful silver-haired lady uh, in her 
uh, 80s is going to preach right here at the upper room this Sunday. And I can hardly wait. I met her when I went to the Acts 6 and 4 conference. And that woman of God embraced me. And I'll tell you, the Holy Spirit of God fell on me as never before. And she's filled with the Holy Ghost and, and that with a mighty burning fire. So I want you to I want you to get ready, get all geared up, get excited. You know, everybody's talking, Gary, about the how the uh, the NFL the, the first night of the NFL is is tonight. No, no, no. That's not the big news. The big news is I'm praying for the saints that God will anoint you in a mighty way. And this prayer will be much more powerful than any game. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Thank you for your time and attention.